Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the Huawei P40 Pro. So this was announced today. It's got obviously Huawei's Kirin 990 chipset, but the P series is all about camera improvements. And I've always loved the P series. And you know, even when Huawei was really trying to enter the United States, it was always the Mate series that that it was all about. It was all the P series was always never never gonna come. You know, and and this is the the P10. This is the first. Huawei phone I've ever used and um, I, yeah, I am going to tell you a little backstory and I'm going to tell you why because because this series has evolved over the last few generations but I was I was invited to like a Huawei cocktail hour where you know just got to play with some devices and someone there was just just like hey have you reviewed the P10 and I said no you know I've never used anything outside of this room from Huawei and they're like, oh, you've got to review this thing. So they went in the back and they went in the back and they grabbed me a box. And sure enough, I just kind of fell in love with this phone. But at the time, this was known as like an iPhone clone. Um, and, um, you know, at the time it was iPhone 6, 7 era, you know, so just that aluminum back, the cameras in the corner. And the cameras in the corner were, be are, were and are because this is more camera centric. So it's meant to be held landscape like this. And it's just a, a more camera-centric design. You know, I really did fall in love with the phone. And it's got the Leica lenses. And I just loved the way that came out, the way the, the monochrome shots came out. Because they used to have the monochrome lens. And they did the P20. And what happened with the P20 was they, they introduced this 40-megapixel lens. I actually took this picture on the back in Italy with this camera. Because in Huawei stores, they actually can print you a case like this. But... They did the 40 megapixel lens and they did some really cool stuff with lossless zoom. And then, and then I, I, I fell in love with the series a little more because um, I'm an old Windows phone guy. You know, that, um, the, the Nokia Lumia 1020 and lossless zoom was, uh, it, it meant a lot to me. So, so someone actually bringing back that idea of a 40 megapixel sensor and then doing extra things with it was really cool to me. So um, now I got the P30 Pro and here's what they did last year. And because, they're, like I said, the series has evolved and it's continuing to evolve. They added, it's called an RYYB sensor. So it, they're calling it Super Sensing or Super Spectrum. I, they, I think they've changed it up a little bit, but whatever. Um, it's RYYB instead of RGB. So RGB, red, green, blue. Yellow, using yellow instead of green, it allows 40% more light. So... Um, the low light capabilities of that camera are almost magical. I have never seen a smartphone camera other than that one that can actually see better in low light than my actual eyeballs. You know, um, I remember when that came out, it was launched in Paris and going back to my hotel room because they, they demoed this stuff. And I'm like, you, you like you see someone demo something on stage and it's like, OK, you know, and then when you can actually replicate what they did easily, that's a big deal. And what that was, I went back to my hotel room at night. The lights were off. I took a picture with my iPhone and I took a picture with the, with the Huawei. And the iPhone was terrible, like, like you would imagine taking a picture in a room with the lights off at night. The P30 Pro actually looked like the lights were on in the room. Like, you, like people didn't believe me when I said that the lights were off. That was wild. And what's interesting is no one's been able to replicate this. A lot of companies do night modes. They do pixel binning. And the, th the thing about night modes is that they, it takes three to five seconds-ish, more or less, to, to take a picture. And sometimes you have a moving subject that doesn't, that, that's, doesn't always work. And Huawei was actually the first one to do a night mode, but you don't even need a night mode on the P30 Pro. So that brings us to the P40 Pro. Okay, they sent me black. And um, I really, I really love the the design. Like, like, I, I let me show you. This is the the no, this is the P30 Pro. Um, I have several. Now, this is the regular P30. They sent me the Aurora color. Like, look at this. The the way the light reflects off of it, that blue and green gradient. You know, the, there was a lot of cool colors, and there still are. But they sent me black, so I can't show that off in this particular video. Okay, so. They fixed a couple of things that I had issues with with the P30 Pro. We have still three sensors. Now, you st what we have actually is a 50 megapixel RYYB main sensor. You see we have that re rectangular camera design. Um, there's also um, the, the telephoto lens is still 5X, but that's RYYB too. Um, 
the ultra wide is still not it's a 40 megapixel ultra wide lens so um what my, my my biggest pain point with the camera on the p40 pro was that um this main sensor had these magical low light capabilities but the other sensors didn't so what you do is you would switch to to the ultra wide camera and suddenly everything looks darker um and i, I did i published those samples in my review so so couple things that, that they're promising with this. Um, well, one, that telephoto lenses are YYB, so you're not gonna have um, that that drast drastic contrast in lighting. Um, although they're telling me that, that the ultra wide sensor should be more consistent now as well, um, just based on, you know, the AI and the Kirin 990 and l letting those sensors work together through software. Let's see what else is in the box. Um, like I said, it is all about the cameras. So that is mostly what we're going to talk about. We do have a case in the box. You know, standard clear case, which comes with plenty of glass phones. You know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of phones that have to come with cases, but, I mean, so many of them do now, I can't even complain about it anymore. Um, we have a 40-watt supercharger. So that's... um. Not going to work in my power outlets, but that's okay. Um, yeah, but it, it is 40 watts and it charges super fast. What's really interesting is that this year, they actually have 40 watt wireless charging. But you do obviously have to get a 40 watt wireless charger. Okay, um, we have some, we have a power cable, USB type A to type C. And then of course, USB type C headphones. All right, so I'm using phone clone to get all my apps and stuff over and it's it's actually pretty great if you just um if, if you use phone clone it's going to bring over all of your uh non-google apps although it, but it does work with apps that came from the google play store so um there is no google play store on this device so if you need a way to get started which um i've been using the huawei mate 30 pro which is a lovely device that i've absolutely fallen like just look how beautiful this is but i've been using that and um you know, I've, I've been, you know, finding alternative solutions and, you know, uh, just using, um, you know, it's, it's easy enough to use Gmail on a device that doesn't have a Gmail app. I mean, honestly, that's not, not that big of a deal. Same with Google Calendar. So I'm all right. You know, like I said, I come from the Windows Phone days where there were no Google services. And, um, you know, I can live with it. There, there are Microsoft services. Some of them are even available in Huawei's App Store. But this is Android. You can get apps from other places or other app stores. It's a very open ecosystem. So, um, you know, as, as long as you're not tied to specific Google apps, you're you're in pretty good shape, in my opinion. And, you know, when, when I reviewed the Honor 9X Pro, I, I said that the hardware needs to be good enough uh, to, to kind of use a workaround to, to some extent. And um, in this case, I do think that the hardware is good enough to work to like because it's. You know, it's not like life is significantly harder. You're giving up, um, like like those those stock Google apps and automatically updating some of those apps from the Google Play Store, um, in in the case of like if you're side loading or something. But, um, you know, like I, I do believe that the hardware is is good enough. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at the device while this is finishing up. Um, hole punch cutout for the the front camera. That's the first time we've seen that from a Huawei flagship. We've seen it in Honor devices, but I believe this is the first time we've seen it in a Huawei or possibly uh, maybe some of the Nova devices had it, but in a flagship like a Mate or or a P series, this is the first time. So, you can see it does have that those that edge display. It's meant to um, it's it's meant to be inspired by the surface tension on water. It just turned on night mode on here, so we might have to turn that off. Um, I believe we've imported everything. I'm not sure why it took me back to this screen and set up. Um, maybe if I just say set up as a new device now, I don't want to try the gestures. But yeah, this is... Some devices just make you go through a tutorial now and... You know, I I really don't like it. It's like you've used I've used enough to I understand that not everybody has tried all these these devices that I have, but they a lot of them just make you go through the tutorial. And there you go. Yeah, so so we're in. Um, yeah, I love that full screen look. And like we could put this next to the 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 Mate 30 Pro and just kind of see. How they look together you know um obviously there are some improvements there we got that hole punch cut out we had the notch on the mate 30 pro but there are some additional sensors there 
So we do have a 6.58 inch display, which is the same size as on the Pro Plus. Uh, you can see we do have a very narrow top and bottom bezels here. It's it's quite a lovely device because like when you're looking at it down from the camera, you really only see screen, which is pretty cool. Um, the only the only differences between the Pro and the Pro Plus is one, uh, the Pro Plus has a ceramic back. You can see it does pick up fingerprints rather quickly. Um, so if you do put it in that clear case, you're going to want to clean it off before you put it in that case. So another change in the Pro Plus is that it does have an extra camera lens or the main and the ultra wide sensors are the same. The telephoto is different. Rather than five mega, uh, rather than five X RYYB, we have three X and ten X, which is doing some crazy stuff with optical zoom and hybrid zoom. But they're also not RYYB. The RYYB on the telephoto lens is exclusive to the P40 Pro. Um, the P40 is the same three um, X regular that that um, that was there last year. Okay, so yeah, very cool device. So. <laughs> you can see there is a volume rocker and normally that's not a notable thing right but but however on the mate 30 pro there is actually no volume rocker on this device what you do is you tap sometimes yeah you, you tap on the on that that side of the screen and, and you get a volume slider so um we just have our regular volume rocker on here in display fingerprint sensor which is um Cool. Yeah, it's interesting how certain things are different. I gotta keep bringing back the mate because it's interesting how certain things are different, right? Um, you can see on the mate, the fingerprint sensor is down here. On the P40, it's actually up here. And I don't know why some of these things are different. Why, um, li like, why the the fingerprint sensor would be in a different place. I know the only thing I really do know is why the camera sensors are in a different place. And the idea is, of course, that it's meant to be more camera centric. It's meant to be held in landscape mode. And um, that's why it's meant to be placed at the the top of the device while you're holding it in landscape mode. Like I said, Leica lenses, which um, in my experience are always fantastic. Um, the screen looks beautiful. Like I said, inspired by the surface tension of water. And frankly, there's not a whole lot else that I could say about the device itself because it's really all about those camera improvements. So all of that's going to come in the in the full review. We do have a camera bump. It's a significant one, but uh, I mean, it, it packs the the camera chops to warrant it. I would definitely say. On the bottom, we have a USB Type C port, and we have a, a Nano SIM slot, which also fits Huawei's own proprietary storage solution it does have expandable storage and they did send me one of the cards it's called an nm card so we'll call it num because i like that better uh, but but instead of micro sd it, it uses that so um the idea is it's smaller it takes up less space and you know you you know the drill with with that kind of stuff no headphone jack of course and um yeah that's about it so a couple other colors that they have are deep sea blue, blush gold, silver frost, and ice white. So um, actually the blush gold and the silver frost are like a different kind of finish. Um, like I said, the uh, the P40 Pro Plus comes in ceramic. So that's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, so um, I mentioned that, that the, the surface tension of water is what they were going for with the display. That's something I always hear a lot of from Huawei. It's just... It's inspired by nature. Here's what element of nature inspired us to design it that way. I love it. I, I, I love that, like, like, I feel like from the time that I've, I've followed Huawei from, which was started here with the P10, I, I feel like this company has grown so much and, and matured so much into making these really amazing products. Um, you know, I, 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 I feel like these are, these are the best smartphone cameras on the market. We could say that um, sometimes they over sharpen, which I mean they do. Um, it, 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 you know, there's there's a lot of there's also a lot of cam competition on the smartphone camera market from Apple and Google, um, and that's always good, right? Google is doing awesome things with the Pixel, and and uh, Apple made made a real comeback with the iPhone 11 Pro because it was really falling behind there. Uh, I'm not going to say Samsung because I, I just finished reviewing the Galaxy S20 Plus and I did not like the camera on that thing. Um, the the colors did not look natural. The, um, the the images were too sharp. All the zoomed images were too soft. It was it was just I, I didn't like it. 
And yeah, this is a device that, that I just I just get excited for every year. And and that's that's just the truth. Um, ever since like the P20 came out, like the P10 was the first one. Like I said, I was just in a, in a cocktail hour and they just gave it to me and, and I fell in love with it. So when the P20 came along, I was pumped for it in the 40 megapixel sensor. Like lossless zoom is definitely something that I've always cared about. This coming from that, that Windows phone error. Like remember that Lumia 1020, the 41 megapixel sensor and that commercial uh, with the Lumia 1020, you're always in the front row. And think about that. Think about that. That was, a, it took a 38 megapixel image and what it, all you would do is you had the option after you took the image to hit the reframe button and you could crop it. And so a 40, like, what do you need for a 4K image is, is 8.3 megapixels. So you, you basically just zoomed in on the image. That's what, that's what digital zoom is. So digital zoom, you're just losing quality. Um, but if you have enough resolution, you could lose quality and still be left with, with a high resolution image. And so, so you get like, 3x lossless zoom out of that and then huawei came along and other companies as well with, with telephoto lenses and high resolution sensors and these things can act together for a hybrid zoom and um and and really interesting stuff happened and like starting with you know um a, like a year ago we actually started to to surpass what we what we had before and and it's it's really exciting to me lossless zoom is, is definitely one of those features i care about so anyway I'll have something more on this in a couple of weeks. I'm going to spend my time with it. I've got Huawei FreeBuds 3, a Huawei Watch GT2, and, and going to live, live in the Huawei ecosystem for a couple of weeks. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to have a review. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.